Okay, so finally we're moving on to the advanced category here. And there's a bunch of cool stuff in here. We're just gonna take a brief look at it and I'll give you a few settings to switch over uh, that could be helpful to you. So first in the editing tab, uh, we wanna do colorize track controls. This is just gonna make things look a little bit nicer. And at the bottom, we're gonna do draw events translucent. Grid shines through. This means that the grid will actually be visible uh, in the events when they're on the timeline in the arrange view so that you can keep track of exactly which beat or uh, bar you're on even when your event is on top of the grid. I really like this feature. So let's go over to the automation tab. There's some more settings here but there's not actually anything that is applicable to us at the current time. Feel free to take a look through it and if you want you can look it up in the Studio One manual to get an understanding of what's going on there. Uh, same thing goes for our audio tab, and same thing goes for our MIDI tab. But in the console, we can click Colorize Channel Strips. Again, this is just kind of a cosmetic thing to make Studio One look nicer. I really like to use things that look good, so a lot of what I'm going to be doing here in terms of coloring things as we get through the course you're going to see I just like my session to look nice because then it's more fun to use, you know? So that's something that's important to me. If it's not important to you, do whatever you like here, but I think you will agree once you see it. Colorizing channel strips probably should be a default setting. I don't know why it's not. And then over here, we have the services uh, tab, and it says, changing these advanced settings might lead to improper function of Studio One. You should only continue if you are sure of what you are doing. And the button says, I'll be careful, I promise. Mm, no, we're gonna stay away from that. Basically, this is some advanced stuff in case you really need to get in the specifics of what's going on under the hood of Studio One, which we definitely don't right now, so there's nothing to worry about. We're gonna click Apply, and that applies all the settings we've just uh, switched over. And then there's one last thing we're gonna do in the next video, which is take a look at the Song Setup page down here.